Simon here for your Renalog Audio Design. Now welcome to this video about a warp one that lets you turn this kind of signal into this. But let's not get ahead of myself and let's just send in a basic triangle wave into warp one to show you what it can do. You can read on the front panel here that Warp 1 is a power curve wave shaper. In other words, Warp 1 is a wave shaper that performs a mathematical function. It's an exponential function and you have complete control over everything that happens right from the front panel. Everything inside the module happens with electronic circuitry. It's completely analog. There's no digital stuff going on at all. Right now we are sending in a triangle wave, which is for the most part just a linear thing. And we can shape this by turning the exponent knob here on warp 1. By turning the knob we change the exponent. To the left we have an exponent that's between 1 and 10. And to the right we have an exponent that is uh, between 1 and 0 0.1 Mind you that we have this switch in the direct setting here more about this later When we turn the exponent knob to the left you can see that the shape of the output here the white cable it's the red trace on data the shape becomes a little bit thinner and this is what we call a concave shape And if I turn down the sensitivity of data here, you can see that everything clips at 10 and minus 10 volts. Let me put that back to where it was. Turning the exponent knob to the right results in a concave shape, which resembles a saturation. The signal gets rounded a little bit. Like I said here, the exponent is between 1 and 0 0.1. With the knob in the middle, the exponent is just 1. It's just like not having an exponent at all. So in the center, nothing is really changed. There is a symmetry knob. This adds an offset to the input. You can control this symmetry with CV by sending something into the second signal input here. Let me show you what the scale knob does. The behavior of the scale knob depends on the other settings of the module. But what the scale knob does is it changes the function in such a way that we get a very specific uh, linear points by which I mean for example if I set this to the center position uh, where it was which is the 5 volt setting to the left it's 0 and to the right it's 10 volt so at the center it's about 5 volt this means that for whatever I send into the module when minus 5 volt goes into the module, there will be 5 volt going out. The same thing for plus 5 volts. If I send 5 volt into the module, there will be 5 volt present at the output as well. You could look at this as kind of attenuation, but it's really not the same thing. It changes the function and this also depends on the setting of everything else. For example, when I turn this to the right in this setting, the signal seems to be attenuated, but when I flip around the exponent to a value between 1 and 0 0.1, you can see that I have to turn the scale up to the left to attenuate the signal. So, this just to demonstrate to you that it's not just an attenuator on the output of the module. Then there's these clip knobs here. Currently they are set to their maximums for the negative clip knob. This means minus 10 volts and what this does is it clips the output of the module at minus 10 volts as I showed you before. 
but we can turn this up to about minus 5 volts and well because the function is currently not exceeding that voltage we don't see anything happen let me turn a few knobs here now you can see that the clipping in the negative portion of the wave happens around 5 volts the same thing goes for the positive clipping knob here which uh, lives between 0 and 10 volts so this means you can have completely asymmetrical clipping which can result in really interesting sounds I've been ignoring this direct and hyper switch for a moment now but this switch does is it inverts the uh, exponent to a negative value which causes the shape to change drastically as you can see on the scope this setting of the module you'll see something really interesting happening when I start turning the symmetry knob and as you can guess you can do voltage control PWM with this module let me send in sine wave into the second signal input here and if I now send Voltmotive sequence into cycle 5 here. We can hear how that sounds in the context of the melody. Let's remove that. As you can see, we can get all kinds of interesting shapes here on this module by playing around with the different parameters. Another thing that you can do with Warp 1 is to do full wave rectification by activating the absolute switch here. Everything else still works as before can do all these wave shaping things while the module uh, does full wave rectification. There's a few other nifty features on the module like for example inverted output which just gives us an inverted version of the regular output There's also this polarity output here. Let's see if I can show that. As you can see, this gives us a high gate whenever the signal at the output of the module is positive. This also means that you can use warp one as a regular comparator where instead of changing the threshold of your comparator you just change the offset of the incoming signal with the symmetry knob and there's loads of interesting things to explore there and of course you also have extensive CV control over every parameter for example you have CV control over this switch here let's send in triangle wave and everything is analog so you can just uh, send in audio rate CV signals
safe to say that in this short video there's loads of unexplored territory of things that we could do with the warp one the new power curve wave shaper of the Rano on the design. I hope you enjoyed this uh, speed run of this module I will make longer videos on my own channel which is Briss but for now I hope you enjoyed this short overview I hope you learned something thank you very much for watching see you next time bye